Banco Gambit half accepted, modern variation. Intense that was a serious game. That game was pretty competitive. The opening was balanced. Both players navigated the middle game well. Opening with the Queen's Pawn. The Indian game begins by controlling the important e4 square with the knight, rather than a pawn. By taking control of the crucial d5 square and creating a space on which the knight can move to c3 without obstructing the c-pawn, move c4 helps to create a strong center. The d4 pawn is quickly attacked by the Benoni defense, which also creates spaces for the black queen to grow. d5 grabs more space in the center and prevents black from trading the c-pawn for the white center pawn. The Banco Gambit aims to weaken the d5 pawn and open lines on the queen side in exchange for losing one of black's queen side pawns. Cx b5 captures the b5 pawn, but slightly lessens white's control over the d5 pawn. A6 offers the Gambit pawn, if white accepts, then black will have a lead in development and open lines on the queen side as compensation. e3 controls the d4 square and allows the light squared bishop to develop. It is a fair deal after all captures. Recaptures. This threatens to win a bishop. This defends the attacked bishop. This is the only move that works. It is the last book move. This misses a chance to make a pawn winning threat. It is incorrect. This defends the knight who was attacked. It is ideal. The bishop will be better off as a result of this. That's good. Castling gets the king to a safer square, out of the center of the board, while also developing a rook. Castling kingside tends to be safer because the king is further from the center. It is best. This buys time by putting a bishop in danger and getting it to flee. It is quite good. This ignores an opportunity to add a defender to a vulnerable bishop. It is an inaccuracy. By positioning the bishop on a potent diagonal, this fianchettos the bishop. It is quite good. Very precise. It is best. By doing this, a knight moves out of its beginning square and into the action. That's good. This poses a threat to strike a knight. It is incorrect. This misses an opportunity to develop a rook off its starting square. It is an inaccuracy. There is a better way to get a bishop to safety than this. It is incorrect. This mobilizes the knight, allowing it to control more of the board. This threatens to win material. It is good. This strikes a rival knight. It is ideal. This offers an equal trade of pieces. This threatens to win material. It is best. This maintains the balance in material with a good trade. This prevents the opponent from being able to win material. It is best. Backs off. It is ideal. When the queen retreats, this attack wins a tempo. It is ideal. This poses a material threat. It is incorrect. This threatens to push a passed pawn towards promotion. It is a miss. This misses an opportunity to take an outpost with a knight. It is a miss. This captures a knight and eliminates a threat. This is the only good move. It is a great move. The best choice is this one. It is ideal. This moves away from the queen of checking. It is quite good. Recaptures, from a previous move. This threatens to create a passed pawn. It is best. The pawn is now passed because it can no longer be challenged by opposing pawns as it tries to promote. This stops the opponent from being able to create a passed pawn. It is best. Castling develops a rook, while also moving the king to safety. Castling to the same side of the board as the opponent tends to lead to less sharp positions as compared with opposite side castling. It is excellent. What I would have advised is that. It is ideal. Perfectly on point. It is ideal. This activates a piece and simultaneously wins time by attacking an opposing queen. It is best. This moves the queen to safety. It is best. The pawn is now adequately defended. It is best. This ignores an opportunity to move a queen to safety. 
This permits the opponent to push a passed pawn towards promotion. It is an inaccuracy. This poses a threat to an outpost manned by a knight. It is incorrect. Very precise. It is best. This suggests exchanging items of equivalent value. That's good. After all captures, this is an equal trade. This is the only move that works. It is best. Recaptures. It is ideal. This misses a chance to pose a pawn winning threat. It is incorrect. This moves the bishop to safety. It is best. This activates a piece and simultaneously wins time by attacking an opposing rook. It is best. The rook is now in a safe position. It is ideal. This overlooks an opportunity to pin a pawn. It is an inaccuracy. This can indicate that a pawn is being attacked. It is incorrect. This strikes the opponent's bishop. It is quite good. This reveals an attack on a pawn. This threatens to kick a bishop. It is best. A pawn that was being attacked and had no defenses is now protected by this. It is ideal. This moves the bishop to a better location, allowing it to control more squares. This threatens to push a passed pawn towards promotion. It is best. This loses a chance to imply that winning a pawn is possible. It is incorrect. This defends the attacked pawn. It is best. This threatens to take an open file with a rook. This permits the opponent to take an outpost with a knight. It is an inaccuracy. A passed pawn is pushed by this. That's good. The rook is now on an open file, which helps control squares across the board. It is quite good. On the file, the rooks are strategically doubled and forcefully combined. That's good. This defends the pawn that was attacked. It is quite good. The best choice is this one. It is ideal. This reveals an attack that poses a threat to a rook. It is ideal. This is an equal trade. It is best. What I would have advised is that. It is ideal. Perfectly on point. It is ideal. There were worse moves, but also something much better. It is an inaccuracy. This is the only good move. It is a great move. This moves the checking rook farther away. It is ideal. This raises the possibility of an eventual checkmate. It is ideal. As a result, the bishop grows and gains flexibility on the long diagonal. It is quite good. This captures a vulnerable pawn. This threatens to force eventual checkmate. It is best. The bishop is now on a square that is more secure. It is quite good. This wins a tempo by threatening a rook and forcing it to move away. This threatens to force eventual checkmate. It is good. Intense that was a serious game. That game was pretty competitive. The opening was balanced. Both players navigated the middle game well.